Well, let me ask you about a couple of big topics that people have been writing in about the last few days. You and I briefly spoke on the experience about the NWA and whatever is going on with Nick Aldis and the NWA, and I think we have a little bit of a better understanding now because of what just happened. I'm glad you do, because I've read a couple more things and still don't see what the big f***ing hoop de doo was about, why it got this problematic. Well, one of the things that really seemed to stir up a lot of emotions in people online is the idea that the new NWA World Heavyweight Champion is Tyrus, the former Brodus Clay. Well, yes. Now, see, if that had happened before Aldous gave notice, I said, well, no wonder. I mean, you know, because a rat's deserting a sinking ship when you put your belt on this fucking guy, right? But that was after. That was in place of what they were going to do originally, wasn't it? Because they suspended Aldous? And, and now Corgan's just saying, well, somebody, somebody did tweet a clip of Tyrus trying, trying a knee drop off the second turnbuckle or whatever into the, and it's like he jumped down and then slowly crazed. Like we were talking about bad knees. He apparently has some bad knees because he took real good care of him on this fucking knee drop. I mean, I, I don't know what their issues were, but apparently if, um, if if Corgan, you know, made the statement that, well, people want to see this guy, you know, Tyrus, who's six foot eight and 350 pounds or whatever, versus this other guy that's six, eight, you know, people want to see giants. Yes, they want to see Andre and Hogan or, you know, any fucking classic big man confrontation. Happy Humphrey wrestled Haystacks Calhoun one time. But it depends on the big men involved as to whether it should be <laughs> for the world title of anybody or a you know a big main event of a major show or whatever. It depends on who the the big giants are. And I don't know that that uh, Tyrus is going to rank right up there with uh, Andre or any of the other great giants in the history of the wrestling industry. The perception, I think, is pretty bad, too, just because you have someone who, I don't think too many people consider a main eventer or a big wrestling star. He's just a guy in wrestling, and they put their world title on it. At least Aldis was doing all he could to be the world champion beyond yeah. the belt. Well, you know, it, it, that was what I guess he was sold on with the NWA resurgence was that it was going to be you know, a throwback to the day of the 10 pounds of gold and the world title is important and carried by a guy that looks like a champion. And and that's what he was doing. And then all of a sudden, oh, here's, you know, the Funkasaurus or whatever he was. And, I mean, he's a guy in wrestling, but only barely does he wrestle for anybody else but the NWA these days. And, I, and somehow he got a, a spot on one of the Fox News. What does he talk about on the Fox News? Is he an expert? In another category, like Wee Willie Davis was an expert in botany and was a, a big uh, floral expert. And was is Tyrus some expert that he is on Fox News and has something to say to so What does he do on that pro? Is he comedy relief? What's what's the position there? I believe he's one of the talking heads on one of their shows. But I think if you're on TV and you're in any way a celebrity or minor celebrity or pseudo celebrity and you express any sort of values that go with some of the fox news hosts they'll just have anyone on so i think it's not a so he's one of them too hi bet well here's an email just to give you an example of what some of the people are sending in this one was sent from miles in michigan the corny drive through at gmail.com jim and brian i'm sure you guys have had many emails on this already but i specifically wanted to point out that aldis was upset regarding booking decisions like like making a gag the gimp match what and a social distancing match where the competitors could not touch. Well, Sa now, wait a minute, but they did that like in garbage championship wrestling, you know, while by, during the first part of the pandemic. Did there some outlaw show somewhere where they were having a fake match where they weren't allowed to touch each other, so they took bumps from six feet away? But they, did, they didn't actually do that in the NWA, did they? I'm looking at, well, apparently Gags the Gimp is a tag team is that a wrestler? Is there a wrestler what? named Gags the Gimp? I don't know. I know it sounds like one of the fucking Bowery Boys. Hunts Hall, Leo Gorsi, and Gags the Gimp. I no, don't Gags the Gimp is apparently a wrestler. 
I don't, I, okay, maybe this is the stuff that Aldous was stopping from seeing the light of day. And let me continue on. Also, Tyrus just won the NWA championship. Tyrus, a Fox News guest with sexual harassment allegations, the former dancing... Wait, wait, what? Oh, whoa. Do we bury the lead there? So I don't, I, it's not been my year to watch this guy. He has sexual, look at him. He was the original top dollar. Of the WWE, the Funkasaurus, a big fat bliffet. He's got sexual harassment allegations. According to Wikipedia, in 2019, un-PC co-host Britt McHenry accused Murdoch of sexual harassment after he allegedly sent a series of lewd text messages. According to Fox News, the matter was investigated and resolved. <laughs> However, on December 10th, 2019, McHenry filed a sexual harassment suit against Fox News and Murdoch. Now, wait a minute. Murdoch is Tyrus's real name. That is correct. Okay. Subsequently, McHenry claimed that she lost the phone containing text messages she says are central to her claims. In July 2021, she voluntarily dismissed the lawsuit and left the Fox network, apparently as part of a legal settlement. Lost the phone! Seems like you'd keep an eye on something like that. Well, so we don't know about anything about this. I'll continue on with this email. The former dancing Funkasaurus in the WWE named Brodus Clay and a fat, horrible wrestler, <laughs> Jesus Christ, was Billy's pick to carry on the legacy of funk, race, flair. I haven't watched since Murdoch won the title, and I'm so glad I haven't. So there is something from Miles that, well, in Michigan. Wait a minute, funk, the... the the legacy of funk was carried on by the Funkasaurus. Oh, God. That's why I said when, when I found out Vince McMahon wanted to name Too Cold Scorpio Flash Funk, I said, I, I said is he going to be related to Dorian Terry? Does he come from the funk family? How about at WCW that Alan Funk? You know, I'm thinking that may have been his actual name. I can't remember. Still. Why would they? Why would you just pick that if it wasn't your name and and people go with it? I don't know. They also had what was that? The guy named Kiwi or Kiwi? 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 <laughs> Kiwi? I never. <laughs> what what was happening with that? But we need to do the WCW roster one of these days. Oh boy! The <laughs> Jesus Christ! And when they bought the company, they kept the half they should have got rid of and and never hired the half they should have got but but back to funkasaurus that's right and uh aldous and i think the more and more that i hear though it sounds like it nick aldous finally said jesus christ as i said when what am i doing with my life well yeah well the first taping that i went to you know billy was he was excited and energetic and wanting to let the guys do their thing and he didn't seem like he was interfering or forcing creative on anything or whatever he just you know he wanted guys to have more of a an opportunity to go out in a studio setting live tv live to tape and do their thing without cussing uh, but if he's been trying to book this thing one can imagine social distancing gags the gimp whatever you know maybe he just doesn't have an an eye for it for actually putting the shit on paper the problem <clears> is, is <throat> the problem is there's a lot of people around wrestling that don't have the eye for putting it on paper and they truly believe they do yes because anybody can put anything on paper harley quinn puts something on paper every morning that doesn't mean i want to fucking broadcast it on television 